Hello and welcome to Card of the Week. In this series, we choose a card that's used in Trinity, talk about how it's used, cards it has synergy with, and what kind of deck you might want to play it in. This week, we will be discussing Enemy Controller. Enemy Controller is a quick play spell with two effects. Its first effect is to change the battle position of a monster your opponent controls, and its second effect is that you contribute one monster to take control of one of your opponents. Okay, okay. Obviously, we aren't playing this for the first effect. It can be useful for getting over a monster with low defense, but there are better options if you really want to do that. Really, what we want is its second effect. Monster Stealing has historically been very strong in Trinity because it can give you a free summon to use as fodder for tribute and extra deck summons, and also screws with your opponent. But Enemy Controller is a little bit different than cards like Mind Control or Change of Heart. In order to get the steal, you need to tribute a monster, so you aren't getting an extra body at all. What's the deal? This seems objectively worse. Well, the trick of Enemy Controller lies in that it is a quick play spell, which means you can chain it to any spell speed 2 or lower cards. This allows for some fun shenanigans. Say, you summon your play starter and your opponent activates Bottomless Trap Bowl. Well, you can activate Enemy Controller from your hand and tribute that monster that was doomed anyway to take one of your opponents to continue your play. This concept has been especially useful lately for countering Dogmatica, allowing you to dodge punishment and at the same time steal a Dogmatica monster to turn off Flirtalus's negate. That's the brunt of it, but Enemy Controller has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Unlike Mind Control and Brain Control, Enemy Controller has no restrictions. Disregarding the tribute, it works as a change of heart without a point cost, and allows you to both attack and tribute the stolen monster. Another cute trick with Enemy Controller is that you can set it and steal an opponent's monster that they were about to use as material for a tempo play. But note that in terms of card advantage, however, doing this is a neg two. Now as for if you should play Enemy Controller and in what decks, Enemy Controller is fairly metagame dependent and is most useful when there's a lot of targeted removal being played. The decks that like Enemy Controller the most are the ones that can use nearly any monster to extend their plays, even if it ne isn't necessarily archetypal. You really don't want to give that monster back in the end phase if you can help it. Do you know of any other uses for this flexible card? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.